So what's the takeaway? There's no harm in opening a sunroof. A warm welcome to this channel. In this video, we will learn about different parts of a car. So let's get started without a snag. This is called windshield wiper. This is also a windshield wiper. It is used to wipe this windshield. This is called windshield. This is called boot. Boot ka matlab hota hai diggy. What is this called? This is called visor or sun visor. It protects you from the sun's rays. So this is called sun visor or visor. And now see, look at this shutter. Oh, mirror is also there. From which the driver arrives to the passenger can see his or her face. Now I can see my face. This is called a headrest. It protects your head and provides you support in an accident. Actually, it protects you against a whiplash. And it also saves you from a long-term injury. But now the question arises, what is this whiplash? Whiplash means a jerk or a jolt suddenly. Or I would say whiplash means to move in a sudden and forceful way just like a whip. When a car stops suddenly, you will feel a jerk or jolt. So that is called whiplash. I hope you got it. This is called a roof first. This is a roof first. This portion is called window. This portion is called window. But then what is this portion called? This portion is called quarter window. This is called a gear shift, gear lever or gear stick. This is also called a gear knob. This is called boot or trunk. But do you know what is this called? This is called spare tire, which is an extra tire in case your tire gets punctured. You can use this tire instead of your punctured tire. This spare tire is also called step knee in India. This spare tire reminded me of my Nanu's tummy, which is a spare tire. This unwanted fat around your waist is called spare tire. What is it called? Spare tire. So my Nanu has a spare tire. He has a spare tire, but he's putting in all his efforts to get rid of this spare tire. To have a lot of unwanted fat around your waist. I hope you got it. And you know, you know what is this? This, this is a jack which is used to raise your car off the ground in an emergency. When you want to raise your car off the ground, then this jack is used. And you know, this jack reminded me an idiom which is jack of all trades but master of none and this idiom is used to denote a person who is able to do many things but is not an expert in any of them do you know such a person if you know then you could say this person is jack of all trades but master of none these are called air vents or i would say air ventilation this one is a radio or a CD player system or a music system. And now come here. This one is a rear view mirror. It helps the driver see the back side view of the car. This portion of the car is called bumper. This portion is called bumper. This one is called a map pocket. You can keep your phone or you can also keep magazines or many more things in this map pocket pocket this portion is called hood this one is called hood release latch or i would say bonnet release latch pulling this one will unlatch the bonnet or the hood of the car let me show you now let me open this hood this is called hood or bonnet in american english we call it as hood but in british english we call it as bonnet and now let me open it. These are the things inside a car. And now let me use this rod to put this hood back to its original position. Slowly, slowly. 
Ah, yes. So now the hood is back to its original position. This is a headlight. This is also a headlight. This is called number plate. This is called indicator light. This one is called a headliner. It covers the ceiling of the car. It does not allow heat and noise to enter inside the car from outside. It does not allow that. Or I would say it provides insulation against heat and noise. This portion is called door post. This is a door handle and this is a door. This is an outside mirror. This one is also called a side mirror. This whole section is called wheel. But only this black portion is called tire. Now sometimes when you are going for a long journey, you might have faced a situation in which your tire gets punctured. Then what will you say? You could say, I have got a flat tire. Which means that your tire is punctured. It means that your tire doesn't have any air in it. Or I would say, your tire doesn't have enough air in it. So you could say, I've got a flat tire. This is called hub cap. This is called hub cap. This portion is called rear wheel. This is front wheel. This light is called tail light. This light is called brake light. I repeat, brake light. This section of the car is called center console, which contains the music system, the control of the AC, and this uh, storage for keeping your bottle or some other thing. So this section is called center console. This tank is called petrol tank. This is called a steering wheel. This is called door handle. This piece of rubber attached behind the wheel of this car is called mud flap or splash guard. It prevents dirt or small objects from being thrown up. So this is called mud flap or splash guard. This portion is called air bag. I don't know if you can really see it, but here also it is written air bag. This seat is called passenger seat. This seat where I'm sitting is called driver's seat. Here the driver sits and drives the car. Vroom, vroom. This one is called a key fob. It is a remote control that supports keyless entry into your car apart from locking or unlocking your car like this. Now see if I press this button the car will be unlocked and if I press this button the car will be locked. See just like this. Let me lock the car. And now, come with me, I'll show you. Now see, the car is locked. And now if I press this button, the car is unlocked. Now come on, do you know what's this? This is a glove compartment. Now let me try to open it. Oh my God, I can't open it. I think it is locked. This is called warning triangle. And it is used to warn other drivers that they are approaching an unexpected stationary vehicle. Like when your car gets damaged in the middle of the road, you can put this warning triangle to let other drivers know that here this car has got damaged in the middle of the road. So they will get warned. So you can use this warning triangle. Use this warning triangle. This is called grill. What is it called? Grill. This is called a buckle and this one is called a tongue. This buckle holds this tongue firmly and allows the seat belt to be fastened and unfastened with very little force. So I would say the buckle secures and releases the tongue as per our requirement like this. Now see, the seat belt is fastened. And now... The seat belt is unfastened. This one is the controller of the power window. It helps you roll up and roll down the window just with the touch of a button. Let me show you. Now see, just with the touch of a button, this window is rolling up. And now it is rolled up. And now let me roll down the window just with the touch of this button. See, it is rolling down. And now I roll down the window. This car doesn't have a crank handle. 
in old cars you will find a crank handle to roll up and roll down the pinder. It also has door lock control. This is called door lock control which allows you to lock and unlock all the doors simultaneously just by the touch of this button. Let me lock all the doors. Now all the doors are locked and now let me unlock them. Now all of them are unlocked. This is not an automatic car so it has clutch, brake and an accelerator. In an automatic car you won't find a clutch. You will only find a brake and an accelerator. Here there is no clutch. As you can see there is no clutch and apart from clutch there are many more items also which are not there in this car because this is automatic car. This one is called a fuel tank cap opening lever. When you pull this lever it will pop open the fuel tank cap. Let me show you. See this one is called a holder and this one is called a cap. Let me open this cap. See this one is called a cap and now let me close it. This one is a horn to honk the horn. Now see here the symbols of a trumpet is also here. It indicates that it is this is a horn to buzz the horn like this. Beep beep. Move away everybody. I'm driving the car. The queen is driving the car. This one is called a floor carpet. This is called door. And this area is called door gyms. This one is called an indicator lever. It helps you to indicate whether you want to go in the left or right direction. It flashes the light in the left indicator or right indicator according to your direction of movement. This is also called an indicator stock. This one is called the packing button. Pressing this button will flash both indicators left and right. It helps others to know that your car is parked. Let me give you a demo. Now see, both indicators are flashing. Just have a look at this. Both indicators are flashing. And now, and now none of them are flashing. If any of your car's doors are not closed properly or they are open, then this symbol lets you know that one or more of your doors are either open or not closed properly. So the system is called door ajar warning light. Let me show you. Now see, this door is open. So this symbol is visible. But now if I close this door, the symbol disappears. This one is called an armrest. You can rest your arm here and keep a glass or bottle here in this socket. This is a trunk opening latch. If you pull this up like this, then the trunk will open automatically. Now let me show you. The trunk will open up. And now see, the trunk is opened. But now let me close this trunk. And to close this trunk, all I need to do is like this and the trunk is closed. This is called glove or storage compartment. This portion is called front fender. This portion is called front fender. This is called a handbrake or I would say an emergency brake. This one is called a speedometer. It tells how fast you are traveling. And this one, this one is a fuel gauge. It indicates the amount of fuel available in the fuel tank. And this is an odometer. It indicates the distance travelled by the car. And this one is an accelerometer. The section of the car in front of the driver which helps the driver to drive the car is called dashboard. So this section of the car is called dashboard. I repeat, dashboard. It contains many controlling systems of the car like speedometer, odometer and many more. It is also called fascia. So this dashboard is also called fascia. This pipe through which 
waste gas escapes from the engine of the car is called exhaust pipe or tail pipe. This is an automatic gear. P for parking, R for reverse, N for neutral and D for drive. This is called stock or windshield wiper washer lever. So this is located on the left side of the steering column. This is called the steering wheel and this is called steering column. I repeat this is called steering column. So this stock is located on the left side of the steering column and it can move up and down as well as towards the driver while activating the windshield wipers. And now the first function of this stock is spray function. But what is the spray function? Let's understand that. Now, if I pull this stock towards me, what will happen? Just observe this. What is happening? This fluid, which is called windshield washer fluid, is, is you know, is, is squirted or I would say is sprayed to clean this windshield like this and as soon as I stop pulling it towards me the fluid will not be squirted by the vehicle. The, what is the vehicle doing now? The vehicle is squirting or I would say spraying the fluid on the windshield but if I stop pulling this what will happen? It is just stopping that all that part. If I move the stock up the wipers will be activated and they will be moving but if I release it the wipers will Stop moving. Now if I move this, this stock a little bit more downwards, these windshield wipers will keep on moving but at a low pace. Now one suggestion from my side. Before operating the windshield wipers directly, I would suggest you to operate the spray function first because in the spray function, the fluid is squirted from the vehicle to the windshield to clean this windshield but if you don't operate the spraying function first then what will happen these uh, wipers will also be containing some dirt and they will that will affect your windshield it may create scratches but if you operate the spray function first that will not be the case it will clean the windshield properly what am i doing i'm poking my head out of this car's sunroof this is called roof, including the sunroof, and this is called sunroof. It's a very good place to hang out, but we should be careful because this sunroof is not meant for us. It is useful for the wind to go in and out of the car. It gives more sunlight in the car. Basically, the sunroof allows more natural light to come in the cabin and make the cabin feel larger and classier, right? But don't peep through the sunroof. You're supposed to be in the seat and buckled up. This is a simple rule that cannot be bargained with, isn't it? If you poke your head out of the sunroof, there are chances that you can be thrown off balance by a bump in the road or by a sudden movement. So don't poke your head out of the sunroof when the car is moving from medium to high speed. It is not for us to stand here, but the sunroof lets in more natural light than what the regular glass area would provide. You know, the sunroof also has sun blind. This is called sun blind. If you wish, you use it. If not, then you don't use it. You can see my head, my two hands and my torso hanging out of the sunroof. But what is a torso? A torso is the main part of the body without the legs, arms and a head. So this portion of the body is called torso. This portion is called torso. When you are on a drive, there is nothing better than feeling the wind in your hair. But if you aren't securely strapped to your seat, you could be at risk. Especially on our unpredictable roads, right? So what's the takeaway? 
there's no harm in opening a sunroof, but it's only meant for the wind to go in and out of the car, not you. So don't peep through the sunroof. But anyway, if you've liked this information, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Bye bye, see you in the next video. Bada bhari hai ye jack.